you're a teenager, you're a writer, and this can be a little bit overwhelming. I started writing when I was in my teens, and there were a few things that I wish someone would have told me when I first started writing. So, I am going to share my wisdom with you. The first bit of advice that I wish I would have been given when I was a teen writer is don't get discouraged. So don't get discouraged when adults come to you and tell you that you should stop writing or that you shouldn't take your dream of writing seriously or becoming an author seriously for whatever reason. People always feel the need whenever you tell them that you want to be a writer or an author to tell you this is a terrible idea. And while these people mean well, it can be really discouraging to constantly hear this every time you tell someone your dream and what you're passionate about. People will tell you that it's impossible to get published, that there's no money in it, and that you should definitely choose a different career path. And you are going to hear these words so many times that you are going to begin to just pretend like you don't even know what writing is. But before you give up, ask yourself this question. Have these people tried to write a novel? Have they even tried to get published before? Chances are no, none of them have. They are simply repeating what they've heard about the publishing industry. And they mean well, they don't want you to starve or to live in a cardboard box while having these grand delusional ideas of publishing your book and suddenly making millions. But while they may mean well, this can be very, very discouraging to hear over and over again. I wish that someone had come to me when I was in my teens and told me, you know what you are passionate about. Don't let anyone push you away from doing the things that you love. And the second bit of advice that I want to give to teen writers is that the author life isn't easy. Now, I know I just went on a little rant about people who tell you that it's too difficult to become an author, but there is some truth in what they're saying. The publishing industry is very difficult to get into. It's very competitive. And even when authors do get their book published, they rarely make enough to quit their day job. But guess what? Anything that you decide to do that is worth doing is going to be difficult. If you decide on any profession out there, you're going to have to go to college, you're going to have to train, you're going to have to go to job interviews and write out job applications. The mistake that people make is they think that they can just put one book out there and then they can just sit back while all the money just rolls in. Or they think that once they get a few books out there that they'll be making enough money that they can quit their job and they can write full time. And while this is true for a few lucky authors, this isn't the case for most of them. If your goal is to make a lot of money or to become really famous, then you're going to be disappointed. But if you are writing because there are characters living in your head and stories bubbling out of your imagination, then chances are you are going to keep writing whether you make a dime from this or not. I know I would. If this is something that you're going to do anyway because you love it, why not give it a chance and see if you can make a career out of it? Maybe becoming a published author isn't the easiest thing in the world to do, but that doesn't mean you should give up on it. If writing is what you are passionate about, then you should pursue it no matter how difficult. And the third bit of advice is something I really, really wish that I would have done sooner, and that is to join writing groups. It's rare to just bump into people with our magical ability to create characters and worlds out of nowhere. So young writers can feel like they are the only ones their age that enjoy writing. I mean, this is a problem for writers at any age if you don't join a group or really seek out people that are just like you. It's really easy to just kind of give up on talking about writing or sharing your passion because anytime you try to bring it up, you're met with blank stares at best or that dreaded, you're wasting your time, you'll never make money at worst. But this is exactly why you need to go and join a writing group. As much as writing is a solitary activity, you really need people in your life that get you. There are going to be times when you feel discouraged and you need a writing friend to get you back into writing. There are going to be times that you want someone to read over your story. And there are just going to be times when you just want to have a conversation with someone who isn't going to look at you cross-eyed because you are so excited that you wrote 5,000 words in one sitting. Because for some reason, that's just something that not everyone gets excited about. Check your school or your local library to see if there are any writing groups. And if there aren't, there are plenty online. 
And I know that for me, it was blogging that really introduced me to the writing community. Not only was my blog a great place for me to share my stories and to get feedback on them, but it was a great place for me to meet other writers, some of which even became beta readers for the book that I'm publishing. And oh yeah, shameless plug, I am publishing my fantasy novel this year. I'm super excited about it. You can check out my blog for more information about the book. The link is in the description. Even if you are not comfortable with starting your own blog yet, follow someone else's, someone else who enjoys writing or gives writing tips. Another shameless plug, I don't mind if you hang around mine. Another amazing place to find writers is NaNoWriMo. And if you don't know what NaNoWriMo is, because it sounds like some kind of disease, it's not. It stands for National Novel Writing Month. And this takes place every November. So if you want to become a part, you can just Google NaNoWriMo or National Novel Writing Month and their site will come up. Or you can just go to NaNoWriMo.org. And NaNoWriMo is where people get together and they challenge themselves to write 50,000 words in one month. So not only is this a great way for you to really push yourself and get writing more words than you have before, but it's a super fun way to do it because you are with a bunch of other people that are trying to do the same thing and you get to meet other people who love writing. And the bonus for NaNoWriMo is that it isn't just online, but they have groups that meet in each city, real life, in person. They're usually held at a library or a coffee shop, and everyone that's participating in NaNoWriMo in that area gets together and they have write-ins and they talk about their writing and they actually write. So it is perfect for meeting other writers. So, dear teen writers, Please do not give up on your writing dream. No matter how many people tell you that it's impossible or that you can't do it, just make sure that you find some writing friends to get behind you in this. The writing community is super, super friendly and super supportive. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe for more writing tips. I just made a video on writing short stories, and if you are just starting out, short stories are a wonderful way to introduce yourself to writing. And I will leave a link for that right up here so you can go and check that out. And if you want to check out my blog, the link is below in the description. So keep writing, and I will see you next week.